Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called Rompers. This was created by Namco in 1989. And this was suggested by YouTube user Namcot Enterprises. And it's a very cute little game. I really I really kind of enjoy it. Um I think this was released only in Japan. The uh, object of the game is to collect all the keys in a maze. Sometimes the maze is fixed screen, and sometimes it scrolls around a little bit as you move about. But there will be various enemies trying to catch you and kill you. Well, they don't kill you, they just knock you over, but you lose a life. And you were this little kid in a sun hat. And like I said, you go around collecting keys. Your only method of offense against the enemies is pushing walls over on them. Some of the enemies can push walls over on you. But, um, this is a cute, cute little idea, and there's this demon that captures your girlfriend. Typical plot device of <laughs> video games. But, um, uh, you have to go through, uh, 60 mazes, and then you play one final maze. And you rescue your girlfriend from that demon character. But yeah, you can only push a wall over if there's no walls in its way that are holding the wall up. And the enemies will come out of this, uh, this egg. I mean, uh, after, after you kill enemies, they'll regenerate from an egg. And, uh, one of the enemies can spit fire at you. Other enemies can uh, freeze you with icy breath. And other enemies just kind of hop around. But any enemy that touches you, you die. Or you lose a life. And now we have these armadillos. They roll around and they will knock over walls. And I just barely knocked it over before he could. Uh, crushing him. But you don't have to kill all the enemies. Your basic goal is to uh, collect all the keys. And you will get uh, bonus points for uh, time remaining. You don't really have a whole lot of time. And once your time runs out, then this other demon character uh, appears and tries to catch you. And if they do, you you lose a life. Every tenth level... You face this big maze full of spiders, and uh, they don't move super fast, but they're the it's hard to get away from them, and they spin webs that that uh, s that uh, catch you, and uh, you get stuck in them for a little bit until you wiggle the joystick to get out. And these guys will also push uh, walls over. There are the big blue walls, or light blue walls, and there are little stone walls. And there are smaller walls like this pink one. And some of the walls in close proximity with other walls, whoa, will uh, knock the other walls over. And uh, depending on where you are, or where the wall is, when you push it over, it might break up and reveal bonus items and they're mostly just gems and give you extra points and you get a nice bonus for a lot of enemies uh, killed by one wall the uh, fire breath can't go through walls thank goodness those little white guys just hop around one space at a time. The enemies, keep this in mind, I don't know that any of them can turn around. Then that's very, very useful. Whoa. Uh, like I was saying earlier, there will be uh, walls that are supported by other walls, and you cannot knock those walls over unless you take down the support first. 
and that'll be something you have to look out for in the later levels. Give yourself, uh, lots of space as these guys, uh, roll around you. You definitely don't want to get in their way. And, uh, one thing I didn't mention yet is notice that the walls will regenerate after a short amount of time. And you might be wanting to go a certain direction and then a wall will, uh, be, uh, in your way all of a sudden because it regenerated. But, uh, the enemies can push the walls over on you or touch you to kill you or to make you lose life. And here is that spider level. Now, you can get caught in the, uh, webs and, um, you'll have to wiggle the joystick and hit the buttons to get out of it. See, I got caught one. Just got out in time. But, um, this level's kind of hard. But remember that the spiders pause after a little bit, giving you time to get away. I think there's a couple enemies that do that, so you'll definitely want to take advantage. Where's the other one? It's at the top. Sometimes you really kind of have to get caught, but make sure you got enough space behind you that there's not a spider on your tail. And after you beat every 10 levels, up till the 60th, you uh, get this little cutscene. You never uh, encounter water that you jump in or can fall in or anything. You just kind of have to look at the walls and see if you can push them over or if they're being held up by something which won't allow them to be pushed over. I can't get to the bottom of the screen yet. I have to go around. And there will be times on some levels... See, I can't push it from that way. There will be times on some levels where... Uh, there we go. Ah, crap. Uh, there will be times on some levels where, um... You have to wait. You have to let some time pass or kill a number of enemies first. And then a new enemy will generate from the... The speckled egg. And it will be one that can push walls over. And sometimes in the meantime, you won't be able to push walls over until that type of enemy generates from the speckled egg. Yeah, you have to push that one over and then make your way in. Ooh, got some nice uh, gems for my troubles. And then the wall regenerates. There is that, uh, that enemy that will appear if you've taken too long, if your time runs out. And you've got to stay away from them or they'll touch you and take a life from you. I think you get an extra life every hundred thousand or something. Ah, he froze me. When they, when they hit you with frozen breath, you'll be slow for just a little while. And then eventually you'll be able to get faster. Crap. <laughs> Yikes! But again, remember that... Ah, shit. <laughs> I just had that one last key to get. But just remember that, uh, um... Most... Well, I think every single enemy cannot turn around. That That's really helpful to remember. Yikes. Yeah, if you're being harassed and you don't really have much room and you have a way out to go around back to the area, do that. You might be able to lead the enemies away. This level's hard. Um, this is one where you have to kill a number of enemies. Then 
uh, that enemy, that there, that guy there, will generate from the egg and can push over walls to give you some space. But remember, those walls... Oh, shit. Wasn't ready for that guy. I got squished. But uh, those guys will push over the walls from inside there. But you have to kill enough of these ghosty guys. Or are they uh, <laughs> Ku Klux Klan hats? Yikes. You have to kill enough of these white guys in order to uh, um, uh, make that egg appear inside the uh, inner part of the maze. And uh, then those little yellow guys will start pushing over walls from inside. But remember, those walls will regenerate. So you need to hurry up and get in there. God damn it. Ah, stupid, uh, hurry up, demon, touched me. Maybe it's supposed to be a succubus. It's some sort of gal, and she touches me, and a little heart floats up. There will be, like, a few other enemies that we haven't seen yet. There's a version of the, the white ghost guy that is faster. And then there's, like, a fox that throws bombs... <laughs> Weird music. <laughs> but you can continue by putting in a credit and pressing start. But I decided not to. That is the final boss of the game, that demon. But, uh... He says, Arigato, when you decide to continue. But let's, uh, skip forward... And there is one enemy, it takes two, two hits to kill, two pushes of a wall. And then another enemy is a wolf that throws bombs. And they can knock over walls with the bombs. We'll look at the, uh, the cutscenes in just a moment. This is such a cute game. Really good idea, but... It can be really challenging. And here's one of the cutscenes. There's the demon coming up to your girlfriend and looking, <laughs> looking up her panties. Nice. <laughs> she beats him. But we'll skip ahead and see the next cutscene on level 30. The rompers show. <laughs> and the monster burns him. And then on round 40, here's the cutscene. The uh, hurry up demon or whatever throws an armadillo into the uh, ghosts playing bowling. <laughs> and then level 50, cutscene is the uh, wolves juggling bombs to each other. And then the bombs explode and knock out both wolves. And then after you beat round 60, you go to last round and you face this demon here. And he splits up into numerous other demons. But as, as in all the other levels, your goal is just to collect all the keys. And you have a counter in the bottom left telling you how many more keys you got left. After you collect all the keys, then this... this creature appears. It can't hurt you by touching you, but you can uh, destroy it Oops! by knocking a wall over it, and then the, the game will end. And there we go. Today, he says some weird Japanese sayings or onomatopoeia or something that I can't quite understand. And then you save your girlfriend. And you get this uh, credits ending. But that is Rompers by Namco in 1989. Very, very cute game. Very a difficult uh, strategy game at times. You just have to look at the look at the maze and uh, 
know whether you can push a wall over or whether it's supported up and you have to push over the support first and then the wall. I can't tell what the storyline is through these pictures. But uh, this was suggested by YouTube user Namcot Enterprises and I'm back to taking some requests for a while. Eventually I'll do some more uh, versus uh, Nintendo arcade games. But, uh, cute little game and definitely, definitely kind of, kind of interesting and draws you in, even though it's really challenging at times. And, yeah, sometimes on the mazes you'll have to let the enemies generate from the eggs after you kill enough other enemies to, uh, start knocking over walls themselves. But remember, those walls will regenerate after a while, so you gotta get in there quickly once the walls are down. <laughs> but that is Rompers by Namco in 1989. Very cute game, and I believe it was uh, Japan only. And it, it says all for round once you've beaten all the levels, all 61 levels. I hope you had a good weekend. And that was Rompers by Namco in 1989. Well, this is Crazy Climber 80 saying thanks for watching Rompers. And I'm guessing the romp means the sound that it makes when a wall goes down. <laughs> Whatever. But this is Crazy Climber 80 saying thanks for watching Rompers by Namco in 1989. And I'll catch you later with another video. Have a good one, everybody. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.